Uh, hey, uh, you there? Y yeah, y you in the green hoodie. Uh, are you are you busy? Because, I mean, if you are, I could find someone else. Uh, a little bit. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll try to be quick then. Uh, uh, long, long story short, I, I, uh, I kind of got lost, and I'm not from around here, and I, I could really use some help, please. Retrace my steps. Um, wh well, about that, uh, it took me a long time to figure out I was going the wrong way, and when I finally turned it back, I, I found that the, the path I had taken was, was blocked off for roadworks or something. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I don't know any of the street names along the way. Well, I was following this list of directions my dad gave me. He he used to live here, but I mean, I, I've, I walked down this street for 20 minutes looking for the shop with the sign out front that has a picture of a mouse holding a hammer on it. And I, I never, I never saw the sign. It, it sounded pretty easy to notice, so I'm starting to think he might have given me directions off his memory and didn't realize the shop has closed down or something. Then, then of all the rotten luck, my phone ran out of battery, so I, I can't even look up a map or, or anything. So, um, here I am. You know, hopelessly lost. I don't suppose you could help a guy out, or know someone who would? Oh, thank goodness. I don't know what I'd have done without you. Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. That, that, that was, that was, that was embarrassing. Let's, let's just pretend you didn't hear that, okay? What? No, no, no! You don't have to buy me anything. I swear. I, I just, I just wanted some directions. No, really, it's fine. You don't have to. Ah! Okay, okay. I guess I can't stop you. Just, just you don't have to drag me to the vending machine. Yeah. Uh, uh. I don't know. Just a bag of chips or something will do. Thanks. Um, how much? How much was it? Hey, hey! I'm I'm lost, not poor. I'm I'm already imposing on you enough. I mean, you did say you were busy, right? Huh? Uh, um, I guess. Well, well, yeah. I guess it hasn't been a very good day so far. Well, I suppose I can't refuse if helping someone out makes you happy. It'd be kind of rude to refuse in that case, right? All right, thank you. Oh, I, I didn't eat anything because I was planning to invite a friend out to this place my dad recommended. S said they had super good food there and told me to go on an empty stomach. I guess we didn't really factor for me getting lost like this. <laughs> Uh, thinking back on it, this was a really badly organized plan from the very beginning, though. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of a surprise visit. I mean, what was I going to do if my friend was busy? Yeah, they they didn't know I was coming, or even that I could. Um, we're online friends in a, who, who are in a group chat on this instant messaging app. I happened to overhear, or, well, well it's text, so... Over, over read? I don't know. Um, anyway, I saw this old conversation between two of the other guys. Y you know, one of the other guys and my friend, I mean. Um, and one of them was talking about their house, and, and my friend then mentioned that they can see Horseshoe Lake from one window and have great views on another two because their house is, like, bordered by a short cliff on two sides. I mentioned it to my dad because, well, he really likes lakes for some reason. That that led to him mentioning how he used to live here, and I think he wanted to, like, 
you know, flex a bit about how much he knew about the place and ended up pinning down exactly which house my friend lives in. So, <laughs> so it was kind of nice to discover I could actually go meet my online friend and I kind of figured it would be a fun little surprise to go visit them and buy them lunch. <laughs> now that I think about all this, though, that's maybe just stalkerish. I, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have come. Uh, maybe all maybe all this getting lost stuff is what I deserve for being creepy, even if naively. Uh, I remember back when I was a kid, you and your friends would just, you know, show up at each other's houses and you'd be happy about it. But I, I guess things change when you grow up. You you can't just drop in unannounced anymore. And Probably even worse to do it if they're a girl. I mean, some strange man dropping in out of nowhere claiming to know so much about them. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> so it's good. It, well, 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 it's nice of you to see the good in me to just say I'm innocent that way. But I, I probably shouldn't have, you know, babbled about all that to a total stranger. <laughs> Thanks for being cool about it. Anyway, do you do you know the way to the bus station? I I just really want to go back home at this point. Uh, huh? What what do you mean? Don't go. I, you really want to hang out with a directionally challenged stranger who just realized he might be a stalker? What do you mean? I'm overthinking. Well, no, I don't. I don't find your company unpleasant or anything. I I I, I get I. I I guess that's true. Yeah, I, 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 sh I should find somewhere to sit down and, and, eat, and eat these. You know the area well enough to point me to the nearest bench, please. Oh, oh, it's behind me. Uh, thanks. But, uh, but yeah, when, when you busy, you, why are you stopping to hang out with me? You, you could probably just give me some directions to the bus station. I, I mean, if you stay here with me too long, you might be late for, for, um, um, what do you, what do you mean this is more fun? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I guess that is something you could do any day. But, but I, I, I don't think my little misadventure in finding my friend's house is all that interesting, right? You must be a pretty outgoing person if meeting strangers and hearing about their stories is a hobby for you. In that sense, I, I guess buying someone a bag of chips to hear their stories is a small price to pay for you, huh? No, I, I get it. And it's, it's not like I'm embarrassed to tell you or anything. I talk with my friend on that app that has the icon which looks like the game controller. Y yeah, that that's the one. I I blanked on his name for a second there. <laughs> I I first met them through an MMO RPG, but I I didn't actually end up liking the game in the end. So one day I logged in to say goodbye to them, and they sent an invite to their group chat outside the game so we could play other stuff together. These days we talk pretty often, and they're probably one of my better friends. So I guess I was just excited to meet them and got ahead of myself rushing out here with such a flimsy plan. Should have at least charged my phone first. But I guess I panicked and started rushing when I saw there wouldn't be another bus to this town for another three hours. What do you mean that's so like me? You only met me like 15 minutes ago. Or do I just radiate a sense of hapless awkwardness that strong? Don't agree to that. At least beat around the bush a little bit. It's okay. Apology accepted. Um, so what exactly is the plan here? If you don't want me to go back to the bus station and everything... What do you mean I said I'd treat you to lunch? All I said was that I'd pay you back for the chips. Is, is, is that? 
Hey, hey, how do you know my contact information? Wait. What, wait, wait, what? This chat log looks so familiar. Oh my gosh, how long have you known it was me? You're right, I did come here to surprise you, so I guess I can't be mad that you beat me to it. Was this meeting just a huge coincidence then that I still managed to find you? Well, then I guess I was lucky at least one time today. Come on, let's go. You know this area well, right? With your help, I'm sure I can still find the place my dad recommended. Just leave me enough money for bus fare to get home, all right? No, this is the real world. I can't just fast travel back home. Even if I could do the stuff in games we played, we stopped playing that MMO years ago.